This episode is brought to you by Shopify. That's the sound of switching your business to Shopify, the global commerce platform that supercharges your selling. Harness the best converting checkout and same intuitive features, trusted apps, and powerful analytics used by the world's leading brands. Stop leaving sales on the table. Discover why millions trust Shopify to build, grow, and run their business. Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash tech23. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moz Boss Show. And in today's episode, so here's the issue that I'm having because, you know, if for those for those that have been following, you know, for some time, you know, I've um, got me a gaming PC earlier this year. Um, throughout the year, I've been kind of just doing upgrades here and there. Uh, first upgrade I did was the RAM. Second upgrade I did was the graphics card. And then third update um, upgrade that I did was the processor. And so today I decided that I was going to replace the um, like the smaller memory card and then the hard drive. And they, I don't know, it's like SSD or SDD or HDD, HHD, whatever their names are. I replaced that today. And I also um, upped my RAM. And, well, not like the gigabytes, but it's like for, you know, stuff to just pretty much load up faster. It's still the same amount of gigabytes. It's just that with this RAM, it lights up and it, um, uh, yeah, and it's um, like a little faster and stuff. So I add those things. No other extra stuff needed to be done. Like it was just unscrew this, unscrew this, take these out, put it back in. All right, we're good, right? Everything should be working perfectly fine solid no issues just enjoying my computer at a faster rate right so i turn it on it sends me to the bios uh menu exit out of it you see that the um computer is loading up sends me right back to that um same menu so i uh saved and exited again sends me right back to the same menu so i go on google Of course, I think everybody knows how I feel about Googling things because when I Google stuff, all I'm just trying to do is find answers to my problems. The one thing, and it's it's a pet peeve of mine, when I go onto these websites like Reddit, Windows, whatever the website is, and it's like some forum page, and it's, you know, somebody saying the same, like overall talking on the same issue, saying like, hey, have this issue, what's the fix? I don't understand why somebody sits down and takes the time out of their day to write out instead of a solution to that problem, they're going to write out, oh yeah, I'm having that same issue too. What's up with that? Who cares if you're, we already know. That's why everybody is here. We're all having the same issue. You commenting and saying, oh, I also have the, that's not what somebody is looking for when they're commenting or they are clicking on this article to try to figure out why is my computer messing up? We're not here for you. We're here for the problem. We're here for the solution. I, man, it it annoys the life out of me when I go and try to look that stuff or just overall just looking up stuff and then I see that one person all like, hey, I'm having that same, who cares if you're having that issue? We're all having that issue. That's why we're reading it right now. I, it's just, man, I, I just, I don't get, I don't get Google at times. And then you go and you think you found the solution to your problem and it's all of these different you know issues it's no no so here's the thing the same problem but all of these different ways of fixing it why is there not just one way of fixing it if it's one problem it shouldn't have a million solutions it should just be one um problem one solution that's it it shouldn't be no extra stuff And then, so, like, after installing it all, after, you know, getting through all that stuff, then I forget that I had, um, I think it was maybe, like, two podcast episodes that I forgot to, um, post or transfer over. So, now I got, and I'm like, I don't want to take all that stuff back out, put this stuff back in. It's too much, man. It is way too much to just be sitting here just trying to work on a computer, and it's like, fam, I'm, I'm telling you, like, you know what? No, the thing is, is this. I know it sounds like it'll be a dope business. Everybody's all like, oh, yeah, you should get in today. You know, you out here doing... No, I, I'm not. Because I'm like, if this is the stress that comes with it, I will never get into the PC building, Um, uh, the whole field. 
Like, I don't, I don't know. I'm like, it's, the thing is this, if I'm having, and I know people are like, oh, well, it's like, you know, it's just eventually gets to, no, no, no. Here's the thing. When it, here, here, just, just overall hear me out on this, you know, because I, I just feel like that I'm not being heard. I'm not being, you know, and it, it is, it's really just, you got like a bunch of stuff just building up. You, you tend to get a little aggravated. I, okay, should not have to be dealing with this in the first place, okay? What should have happened was that I install this hard drive. I install this smaller um smaller hard drive, right? Or SSD, whatever it's called. I install those two things. Windows, all the computer starts up. Yeah, I don't have none of my stuff. And I'm like, oh, dang, forgot to transfer that stuff over. Take those memory cards out. Add the old one so I can transfer this stuff over to a USB drive or whatever, Take that stuff back out, put it, um, the new ones back in. That's it. That's the only thing that should have um that should have happened. Not me having to go through Google for two and a half hours, I think, just looking at the same thing over and over and over again. Fam, I'm telling you, like it it should not be this stressful to just work on a computer. It shouldn't. And I'm like, as many times as people are like, oh no, this is like you should get into this business, you should do no. I'm all like, I no, I don't, not at all, never, like, after, I, I'm telling you, like, after this, unless I really feel like, because I do have another computer, and I do want to add, like, the the parts that I took out of this computer into the um old computer, the thing is, is this, I will do that on my own time, but after that, I'm like, fam, I don't want to do nothing else, okay, nothing else computer related the only thing that i want to do computer related uh if there's ever a time where i gotta upgrade i'm not even no the thing is this they can say so much is like oh this is the only part in your computer that needs to be i will save up my money okay i will save my money up to go get me a new computer because i do not ever in life for the rest of my life, I do not ever want to work on a computer again. That's how stressful that stuff is. They should not. Here's the thing. People, you know, not trying to call nobody out, not trying to, you know, point fingers or any of that stuff. But people should not promote the idea of building PCs, making it sound like it's the most funnest thing in the world. Coming out with a video game called PC Building Simulator. Then when people actually go and be all like, oh, well, I learned some stuff from this game. Let me, I'm going to just say, tell you this right now. What you learn from that game ain't got nothing to do with what you want to do in real life. So yeah, simple stuff like maybe the RAM, the graphics card, um, what else? You know, th- like getting you a new keyboard, getting you a new mouse. Yeah, that's 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 cool, that's chill. But if it's any uh, um other extra stuff like processors, the hard drive, the other um you know like memory card thing, the little power supply box, all that extra stuff, I no. I, I, I'm telling you right now, I do not ever want to work on a computer again. You should, fam, it should not have to require you getting a headache. You think you've just crossed the finish line, right? You think that you are there. You have made it. You are smelling victory. Just to have it where you got it all of a sudden go backwards. Bro, I'm telling you, like, I, I'm doing one last thing, okay? One last thing before I uh, um, go and, you know, like, start working on this computer game. I'm going to try to do one last thing. I guarantee and I promise you, if this don't work, I'm like, no, bro. I'm like, I'm contacting somebody. I, I should just, that's what I should just do. Just post on it myself and tell people, do not comment talking about, oh, I'm having that same issue. We all know. That's why we're here. I'm looking for um, a, a solution to my problem. I'm not here to hear other people's problems. Like that, man, I'm telling you, like, it, it's just, it, it's so annoying. It, it's like PC building and all that stuff, re- upgrading parts. It's just mad annoying. And then realizing, like, half, not even halfway, like, literally, like, 90, like, 9% done with all this. Not even that. Like, no, I am d- pretty much done with it. All I just got to do is try to figure out, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's, I got to add when, my thing is this, because I'm, what I personally think that it is, is that there's no, like, Windows 
uh like stuff like you know like windows 11 or windows 10 that didn't that wasn't on the hard drive or the other um the smaller hard drive and if that's the case because that's what that what i'm planning on trying to do is that okay i added uh windows 11 to um a memory card and i plan on plugging that up to the computer and seeing if that works if that doesn't work and windows was not installed on these hard drives why would you guys sell a hard drive without windows that makes no sense to me if if that's the case all right if that's not the um if that's not the case and windows is on there why is it no if the, okay if windows is on there why is it not installing why is it not doing nothing why is it not because it should have it should be the same process for when you buy yourself a new computer unused brand spanking new you turn the computer on and then it's like you uh set their your stuff up and all that stuff that's it that's all that it should be why is it extra stuff happening i'm i'm bro i'm telling you like i just even talking about it, it it's like it's really annoying and all that and i'm like i just i don't even want to talk on it i don't even want to look at it like after this i'm like bro like like i said i'm done with any more upgrades and all that stuff and then this computer acts like it doesn't want to Oh my god, it's like, man, technology is so stupid. Why is it not? Okay, I'm just gonna unplug it, because it's, you know, computers is like, even this computer that I'm using right now to do um, my podcast episodes, it's been having issues, like, for some reason, clicking on stuff just doesn't work properly. You can click on stuff numerous times, and you'll have to, like, hard click it in order for something, and I'm like, bro... I'm telling you, like every computer I've had, and I'm like, I'm I'm trying to figure out, like honestly, getting on all these companies, CyberPower PC, uh, MS, um, MSI, Asus, all these different, uh, Acer, all these different companies. Why come out with these computers if they're not gonna work properly? Like it, it should be a requirement. Like, okay, so what happens in this situation? What happened? Like, and so no. Here, then this was another um thing. So I go and I did be prior before I was like, okay, let me just see if I can plug up my laptop into because I I would imagine that is how you program a computer. You need another computer to program this computer, right? I imagine I would imagine that that's how that works because if not, how does a computer? come about how how does it you know have windows and the bi os settings and all these other extra things in order for that stuff to happen right a computer would need to be in the area and then you need a cord to plug up to that computer so you can install that settings into the other computer why is it not like that why is it that me an un um educated college like a person that ain't never been to college i barely graduated high school Okay, I barely got through elementary and middle school. Why is it that I can sit down, right, and think of these brainstorming dope ideas, but yet these companies haven't came out with these ideas yet? They they haven't. It's like I I don't I don't get that. I mean that it's like that with video games. It's like that with computers. It's like that with just everything that I have been stressed out on. The fact that I can sit down and come out with these ideas, and I have even been to college, and I would imagine in order to work on computers, you would have to have some sort of education in working on computers. But yet I don't. And I'm sitting down thinking of these ideas. And if somebody <clears throat> and if somebody goes, they, you know, somehow, some way contact me and they're all like, oh yeah, it is possible to, you know, do that in things. I'm like, fam, then it should be when you turn your computer on, it should say, Do you have another if if Windows isn't installed, it should say, Do you have a computer in the area, a different computer? I would check yes. Plug up no. So they'll give you a step by step um step by step directions. So go to Microsoft.com, Windows.com, whichever. Go there. All right. Download uh Windows on or yeah, download Windows 11 on that computer and then transfer it through the cable. It should be that easy. 
why like i'm i'm just trying to figure out like you know that i it's it's crazy how i'm like i'm always talking about like you know like i'm just i'm um being at peace like i don't allow things to get to me all this stuff i'm telling you like com- just in just in this month alone bruh this month alone i have never been so stressed out working on my computer I mean, this is all the way going just, yeah, maybe what, last week with the whole thermal paste situation? Why a processor not not come with thermal paste? Like, how many people just going out my, unless, because it's like, okay, wait, you use it that one time, they say thermal paste, um, it like lasts, so it should just be, okay, comes on a, a sticker or whatever, already, um, added to the, uh, processor, and then you just add it to your, um, the cooling fan, your computer, the motherboard, all that stuff. Easy and simple as that. But yet, they make it difficult to where it's like, yeah, a person ain't even thinking about thermal paste. They ain't never heard of thermal paste a day before in their life. Gotta go all the way back up to the store when it's cold outside and icy to go get thermal paste. And then today, it's like, man, I'm telling you, like, just, yeah, just PC stuff, it's mad annoying. Like, it is very, very, now I'm like, that's probably gonna be a game that I'm not gonna install once when I do get my uh, computer working again. And it's raining hard outside, so I'm like, the weather is like, it, that. that's just really, you know, going to be frustrating where it's like, I try to stream tonight. Because, no, I am going to stream. I am going to get this stuff figured out. That's one thing for sure. I'm like, no, I am sick and tired of stuff wanting to be, oh, let's make things mad difficult for your average person. They, and it's like, my thing is this. They have to understand, like, the people that are creating computers and putting all this settings and all this stuff in there, they have to understand, okay, that a scientist, somebody that's in the computer, somebody computers, somebody that's into technology, all that stuff, it's going to be your average person, your average gamer buying these computers. Because if I, I, I feel like this is something that I just overall got to start asking people. I'm like, do you know what thermal, like ask all my, my streaming friends, ask anybody that's listening to my podcast. There's probably going to be some people out there where they'll say, oh, I know what thermal, everybody knows what thermal pace it to a person like that. Just don't talk to me. Just don't say nothing to me. I'm like, you just keep whatever comments you guys say to yourself. Because if I snap on you and say some things that's going to cause you to cry, I ain't going to apologize. I'm not going to care about no videos coming out. I ain't going to care about none of that stuff. Okay. At this point, how I'm feeling is like, I, it, it's like a ticking bomb that's just like, it, it's already at that point where like the countdown gone. I'm already at that explode, um, explosion factor where it's like, you haven't destroyed nothing yet, but the, 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 the first explosion has went off. All right. So yeah, I'm like, I'm at a point now where it's just, man, you know, just seeing how frustrating this stuff is, it, it's like, now I'm seeing a commercial of a guy, he just used a knife to cut a rock, and then he's gonna cut some meat, as if, like, that rock doesn't have stuff inside of it in order to, and why are they cutting wood, and then gonna go directly to cutting a tomato, people are weird, man, it, it's just, everybody is weird, people that build computers, like, not like the ones that go, you know, at their, like, you know, like, somebody like myself, where you go out and get you a bunch of gear so you can build a PC, no, the people that put that stuff out, okay, uh, put out a pre-made or whatever, they put that stuff out for people to buy and use, and then once when they start doing upgrades, it's like, am I gonna have to go all the way to the person themselves that had built my PC just so I can get them to fix my computer? Because honestly, if that's the case, then that person should be following me 24-7 in order to fix a computer, right? But no, it's like, you gotta figure this stuff, you gotta go on Google, watch 100 tutorials on YouTube, all these other extra things, for what? So I'm like, I'm gonna, look, and, and like, all I know is that the end of the day, I'm streaming, okay? I'm like, if this, unless the weather shuts my stuff down, that'll be the only way on why I'm not streaming tonight. I'm using my computer, and I'm streaming tonight. I'm like, I don't care what issues this computer got. It's gonna get fixed, okay? Otherwise, either Windows, Microsoft, CyberPower PC, somebody will be hearing from me. And I'm not gonna stop until I get a legitimate answer. Not a million answers. Not an answer to one answer that's gonna lead to a question and all that. No, I need one simple answer to my question. How do I get out of this BIOS um settings and get back into what a computer should be? 
where it's just, you just sign in and it's just no, there ain't no extra stuff. You just sign in. That's it. All right. So if y'all will excuse me, I'm going to end this podcast episode. I ain't going to do none of that promo stuff because I just want to get straight into working on this computer. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Peace.